Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm David Foster. Your Android tablet just got a whole lot cooler. With real-time laser scanning. Yeah, baby, welcome to Geeky. I can't tell you how much excitement is going through the Geek House today. And it's all in 3D. <laughs> it is. So much 3D stuff. Just coming at you. Coming, oh, coming at you in 3D. Literally. <laughs> So uh, you've actually been really excited about Dot Product, who we're about to talk to. Yes, and it was actually the very first thing I saw when I got here on Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah. And I, I was real-time scanned in the hallway and had no idea that that is actually an Android device. And I'm a new Android guy, as most right. people know. So. Yeah, you're doing all the uh, Android reviews and everything. Yep, yep. So when Tom walked in, it was like love at first sight, I think. <laughs> I did. I, I walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Android. <laughs> welcome, Tom. Thank well, you Well, thank so you. That's much. a very warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a product Call, from Dot Product is, is the name of the company. Yep. What is that that you're holding in your device, in your hands? What device is it holding in your hands? You know so, what I mean. So what we've done is mashed together um, two technologies. We take some off-the-shelf sensors that are used for gaming purposes. I think many of the people in this audience have some of these in their home already. We calibrate them in our facility in Houston. And then we combine that with uh, off-the-shelf tablets, Android tablets. And we've written some software to get engineering grade 3D data from these sensors and we do all the processing on the tablets in real time. In real time on the tablet, so I don't have to wait, like because the, the you know, generations these days, they want it now, they mm -hmm. want it when they want it, so you're telling me you have what I want. We we can we collect the data in seconds and you know in a few seconds later it's that available really for your cool. engineering application. Our files are really small. Oh, okay. okay but so still can, high resolution? Yep, they're very high resolution. We've got a very um, sophisticated compression algorithm to, to squeeze the data down. Um, because it's small, because it's real time, that allows us to do a bunch of things that you can't do otherwise. Right, and you're sending that data directly from the device to the engineer, or they're going on and, and picking up in, in the cloud? Or, or So there's, we, don't, we don't go to the cloud. You can, of course, take our data and put it up in the cloud, but mm -hmm. all the processing is done real time on these tablets. These tablets are becoming much more powerful. Um, so why, why doesn't it go up to the cloud? Because everybody does it now. Yeah, well, we can take the output of our Right. You know, results and send it up to the cloud. But we have customers that want to process in real time. Let me give you a couple of examples. We have some defense customers that aren't allowed to use the cloud oh, that the rest of us use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in law enforcement, you may not want the very <laughs> right. latest on that crime scene <laughs> being broadcast that to the world. The, you know, there's some data custody issues mm -hmm. here. But um, even uh, consumers, they want to get the data right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, you know, that's what we can do. That's where we excel. So let's see it. Okay. Okay. So I've so, got, um, I've got Han oh, Solo. That's up Han here. Solo. Yeah. I'm. Go I'm gonna get you. Everybody. Oh. Yeah. But. Uh, Wait. Okay. So this is like a finished product. No, yeah. this is not the finished product exactly. So this is a, a scan that we got. Uh, well, that yesterday. looks like it's probably the ladder scan, right? Is were you on the ladder when? Yeah, you Yeah, I was one? on the ladder when I took this one, and. Um, so those are, those are what they call um, uh, point uh, This is point a point cloud. cloud. We produce a color point cloud. There's no color in this image that okay. you can see, but we'll get some color when we but show oh, all okay. the, the mesh looking stuff, that, those are all points? Yep, those the are points all points. How many points would you say are in that? In that particular scan, there are about 10 million points. Wow. Whoa. And that took That's about awesome. two minutes to capture and bring up on this. 10 million points in two minutes. Yeah, it's really fast. Wow, it's okay. It's really fast. So you said you wanted to scan something here in real time uh, and show uh, us how I it I want to scan the two of you. Okay, well let's All see right. just is how fast hurt? this is. All right, so reset. So this is completely yeah. safe, yeah, I guess. Do we have to cover our eyes? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, this is, a, this is a consumer product. It's okay. perfectly okay. eye safe. Yeah, so okay. what, do we get, what do we need to do? What do we need to know? So Scare. what I'd like you to do is just hold still. I have one question. Sure. Does my beard affect it? Um, if we you have too much hair. Your beard. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So beards are, are not a problem. So I just want you to when I when I hit I'll just when I hit start I just want you to hold still. Wait. Because, so okay. should we follow the lens like we do a normal video camera? No. Just just you just can stare move your eyes. straight ahead. Yeah. Just stare point. straight ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, so I'm scanning you, and you can see... I'm yellow. You're <laughs> yellow and green, and um, that's an indication of real-time feedback about the quality of the data we're collecting. So we let our users know at the time of collection... Can I really? Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm just going to finish it up there. <laughs> All right. So it's getting it's, dry there. So it's as fast as that. I have you in 3D. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. Cool. Now it's a, a bit of a Potemkin village here. You know, nice. I don't have the, you know the the. Uh, well, I'd, I'd have to walk. I can walk us. around you. Mm -hmm. You know, so you I'm, I'm tethered to the cable here, so I can't. Right. Of course. But we, we walk around. We do rooms. Um, we do the hold, the holds of ships, uh, nuclear power plants, uh, crime wow. scenes, stuff like that. So we have to walk around, and one of the things our software allows us to do is stitch together all of this data in real time. Do you, if you are walking around a building or a room or something, yep. do you do it in pieces, or you literally it's just one do one? It's one continuous uh, collect. Right, so but okay, if you... And it's stitching it together as it goes. Okay. So if you, if you start scanning us right now, and then you were yep. to stop and walk behind us and start it again, yep. or do you have to keep it constantly going? Um, yeah, we, you can fill in, We right? do have a mode where we can stop, and then a pin to an existing okay. scan. Okay. And we've used that in some uh, very clever ways. We've come back months after an initial scan, locked in, locked in oh. the camera. The camera will recognize, hey, I'm back to a place where I knew where I was, mm -hmm. and we can collect some new data. And when you think about that, that allows you to do some things like change management. Mm -hmm. You know, what's <laughs> new in the scene? Okay, That's what wasn't there cool. before? Okay. So, so if we so when we get the geek house all set and in order you, yep. because not everything is done like for example our trussing system yep, on our right. psych wall well, is all new up John P roof wing that I think is going in up what? there that bit no oh, hey, we'll me? talk about that later I don't like the sound of that <laughs> <laughs> but whatever he's talking about you could actually come in and change it out so just that piece what we can also do is take some data that say a ferro scanner has captured oh load that on our tablet Put the camera in that point of view, lock into it, so and add to that. So you're so working together. We, yeah, and we, so there's a common file that you can... Yep, yeah, and we pl all play nicely together with okay. the Autodesk Recap product, too. Right, absolutely. So we can you know, bring our data in there. But um, we, you know, we're good at catching areas that are sometimes shadowed or occluded, difficult to reach. The camera doesn't mm. care whether it's this way or that way or upside down. You know, it's, it's keeping track of where it on. is. Is and there anything too big or, um, that, or, or that you don't, that you can't capture? You know, it wouldn't be practical to capture this whole, you know, geek house in one go, you know? I, I think the sensible way to do that would be do the big rooms with the tripod scanner mm -hmm. and then use ours to capture the smaller rooms or well, the I think I remember you areas. saying ideally like 10 by 10 was, or 15 that's, that's by 15. A, that's, that's a good, comfortable size right. for us. And how long does it take to, cre to do a 15 by 15 room? Uh, 10 minutes, maybe less. Okay. It's and very fast. And then pick up shots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so we have construction knowledge. companies that, yeah. <laughs> we have construction companies that want a good answer right away. Mm. Uh, a great answer tomorrow is too late. Right. You know, the concrete truck is outside, it's standing, yeah. <laughs> you've got rebar, you know, you've got people standing uh -huh. around at high rates. The window to capture this data is limited. Go get it right away, give me the answer, and let me get on with my work. Mm -hmm. And so, so, just to be clear, as a consumer, if I am having nothing to do with this, this show or anything, I, I want access to that. Do I buy that and get a tablet, or do I hire you? You know, we sell the complete system. It comes in a rugged case. We put it on a FedEx truck or a UPS truck. Out it goes. You power it up. You're ready to go. How much? I, I've got, where's my wallet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they're, today they're 5,000 US dollars, just okay. under. Um, where this is going, we recently ported our technology to the Google Tango. It's a cell phone oh. sized device. These sensors. You know, it's not going to be this year, but it's coming at us like a big tsunami of 3D. Um, these 3D sensors are going to be embedded in tablets and phones. And we're going to be there to be the 3D operating system uh, for that technology. That's amazing. So I think, did you say that you were going to leave me one of those on my desk? Uh, I thought 
Well, I don't know. I might have. I might have misunderstood. You're no, good. no, don't You're give him an out. Don't give him an out, David. <laughs> well, that I brought is... a bunch of them. <laughs> is that everyone is... missing? <laughs> really, really cool. How big Let me is count your my pocket? Fingers here. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Um, you, I, I love the phrase that you used: a tsunami of 3D. So expect that in the future. And if you want to get your hands on it, where can they go to find out more? Go to dot product 3 dcom We work with uh, you know resellers and partners all over the world. But uh, come to our website and we'll get you connected uh, in in your particular location. Thank you so awesome. much, Tom. You're yeah. awesome. Yeah, thank you. That's thank you. awesome. And you guys are awesome for watching and hanging out for this 3D Palooza event. And there's <laughs> plenty more to come. Indeed. <laughs> so we will uh, catch you later. Give us a thumbs up on youtubecom geekbeat TV or two if you got them. Bye. You only have one. I know. Oh, so nice. see. Wait, you, point cloud. What exactly yeah. does point cloud mean? And, and you, you scan the decals everything. inside and out. Now that surprised me actually because yeah, I yeah, like yeah, that. exactly. It gives you those really great, beautiful Michael Bay cinematic shots.